Unleash your audacious confidence and win. This is where it all began for me, and I want to share it with you. Get your copy today at acradio.live. Bring out your beauty and confidence from the inside out. Buy this book today at www.acradio.live. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Hi, I'm Alicia Curry, and I'm here to influence, educate, inspire, and entertain you with audacious confidence. Audacious confidence is the unshakable belief in yourself that's so bold and so daring that you live your life without limits or restrictions. So join me on my show, Unleash Your Audacious Confidence, so we can discover the unknown you. Call in to join the conversation at 888-565-1470. Let's get started. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Hi, everybody. Guess what? Oh, we we're on oh, live. My yes, oh, but not yet. Looking? You're not on yet. I'm the only one on camera oh, right good. now. Okay, awesome. <laughs> so, guys, listen, I wanted to just say today is the one year anniversary of the show unleash oh, your audacious ooh. confidence Yay! Yay! i should have had like some streamers and stuff but i would have messed up the whole studio so i couldn't do that but today is the one year anniversary i'm inviting people on you know on facebook to join in and i just want to thank you so much for view for those of you who have joined us live on 95.3 fm and 1470 <laughs> am as well as those of you who have joined me faithfully at on facebook and on youtube and on periscope thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for those of you who have gone to acradio.live and have you know clicked on the links to join in thank you again thank you for the love thank you for the hearts thank you for the support for the subscribers uh i appreciate it so so much you don't know so what i want to do in honor of the anniversary you know this month is my birthday month and oh. it is also wow, the anniversary and it's mother's day everything oh, happens in may wow. so what I want to do for um, the show is if this show has impacted you in any way, I would love for you to either send me an email. You can go to acradio.live. My email address is there. Send me an email. If you're on Facebook, you can send, you can send me either a private message or you can write it in the um, comments of the show or the, or just, just write it to me on Facebook and let me know how this show has impacted you benefited you or or even just you know that you enjoy watching the show or listening to the show i'd really appreciate it and uh, one, on one of the shows in may i'm going to do just a testimonial show where i'm just going to um talk about all the great things that you got and and kind of talk about you guys a little bit on testimonial show so i that's a good idea I, yeah thank you so i'm going to do that brilliant and I just have a couple shout outs before I bring my guest on. First of all, I just want to say a heartfelt thank you to Katrina, uh, sorry, Katrina Teak. I'm sorry, Katrina Teak Spa here in Boca. They uh, were so generous and so gracious to me. Uh, I had a client that drove all the way from Connecticut to get her hair and make, to get her makeup done, sorry, for a photo shoot today. And, um, they opened up their spa for me to use their facilities to do makeup here in Boca, as well as she gifted me with a um, a facial on Friday. How wow, amazing nice. was that? And I posted the pictures on Facebook, um, the before and after pictures. So I just want to say thank you. That is such a great gift for Mother's Day coming up. If you don't have a gift for your mom yet, you can give her a gift certificate to Katrina Teak. Um, here in Boca, they have facials, they do, um, what, you know, eyebrows, they do microblading, they do eyelash extensions, so many things, wow. makeup. Um, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful spa right down, um, off of Palmetto Park Road, East Palmetto Park Road. So, um, I will put up a link actually on my website, acradio.live for Katrina T, so that you can at least, um, you know, get some, get some information on them and and link to them. So now there is my <laughs> my guest was just tuning in live on Facebook. So that um, that is a great gift for mothers. If you're on Facebook, Katrina Teak, K A T R I N A T I Q U E. 
plus a shout out to Daphne, who was my client. A shout out to um, Carlos, who did the f who was the photographer today uh, here at Boca. So now that I've gotten through all of that, oh my goodness! I just want to uh, <laughs> introduce my guest, who is a third time appearance here Has on it been the show. Time, it's this is the third time this wow. past. Wow! Yes, the Energizer Bunny, as I call her, <laughs> Pat Rogers. Uh, is a retired correctional lieutenant with Miami-Dade County Corrections after 29 years of service. She was uh, responsible for administrative duties, ensuring the safety of the facility and supervision of the inmate population and staff. Patricia's experience in law enforcement has landed her in a second career as an entrepreneur, co-author of Journey to the Stage, Volume 3, She's an international public speaker, coach, and event coordinator for entrepreneurs and, um, to connect and build their professional networks. Ooh. Patricia is also an independent associate with Legal Shield, a multi-level marketing company that gives individuals, families, commercial yeah. drivers, and business owners access to the legal system by accessing not just attorneys, but access to high quality law firm, a high quality law firm in your state. Absolutely. So, welcome. Patricia Rogers to the show. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, hello everyone. How are you all? And you're Ali Alicia. How are you doing? I'm good. Oh you're my, my anniversary you a lot guest. Of announcements today. I know. No, it's it's because it's awesome. the anniversary. But that's a good deal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Busy is good, as they say. Yeah. Yes. Productive is better. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I say. <laughs> People say busy yeah, is good. I benefits. say productive is better. <laughs> yes. So. um we have uh we're going to talk a little bit about a very special event that you have coming up um because you have you know this show is all about unleashing your audacious confidence yes. and leaving after 29 years of service leaving the the um you know the corporate environment in the public service to step out not just retire and lay back but you no. retired and you stepped out mm -hmm. to just keep running yes and running even <laughs> faster and harder than you were probably, in your job probably I and would say so, so you are stepping yeah, out again you're yeah. stepping even further out because yeah. you're leaving the comfort zone of what you've created here in South Florida yeah and your network in South Florida <laughs> and you are launching an event in Atlanta Georgia yes so yes. what gave you the courage to step out and say I'm going to Atlanta this time uh, well first of all Alicia I would like to say thank you first of all for let uh, allow me to be on the show again you, you are know welcome. and uh, like like busy is good you know so if I'm here for the third time that must mean we are really you're doing something and we're doing something yes ma'am you know and I'm grateful for that but uh, working for 29 years um, in corrections in the Department of Corrections which is where I spent my 29 years of service as you said yes um, I think, and that question comes up often, uh, where do I get my energy and, 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 and what makes me do, you know, uh, go, go do what I do and what do I find that energy? Because you're all over social media, you're always yeah. doing videos, you're always, uh, you know, you're, you're productive, you're doing it. You're traveling yeah. and you're, you're learning and you're I'm growing. Learning, yes. So you didn't just yes. stop after retirement. You continue right. to go. Yeah. So what? Well, what? It, I feel like, it, in a sense, like I said, that question comes to me often. And I feel like uh, the way I feel is that for 29 years, I was programmed. Mm -hmm. I was in an environment that I was comfortable with. Of course, you, be, you, 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 you conform right. to any environment after you've been there for a while. But I didn't realize because I was in that environment working a lot of overtime, sometimes 58, 70 some hours a week, every two weeks. Just that was my environment. Yeah. And I did. I had to do what they said to do. Mm -hmm. The policies were in place when I got there. We had to follow the policies. Right. We had to be told what to do for as vacations. We were told when to take vacations. If or you know about that, right? Yeah, if they yeah, weren't available, yeah. you can't take it. <laughs> um, and if you don't have seniority, you won't you get, get it. it right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and even as far as a day off, you know, a right. day off, and to you have to ask for a day off if that's available. If, if that's you can available, get it. Yeah. If that's not, you can't. 
And then it goes even back to the sick time. You know, mm-hmm. you earn this sick time. So you were working in the prison and you were in a prison. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> innocent, <laughs> yeah. innocent, innocent. Not, not completely, you but know, you know, right. you were in right. a structure. Right. You that were in a structure. You didn't have freedom yeah. to do what you wanted to do when you right. wanted to do it. That's exactly right. You know, and um, <laughs> even as it relates to sick time, it got to a point where, you know, because of some people abuse the system, it got to a point where you have to bring a doctor's note when you're sick. Oh, wow. So having said all of that, as I have thought about it in my own life, you know, what does drive me? Right. I say, what does drive me? What drives me is the fact that because I was in that environment so long and even prior to that, I was in the military. And that's right. another disciplinary right. uh, environment that, that you have to abide by all of the rules. So I wasn't able to be myself. Mm. I had to be what they wanted me to be. Yes. Who they wanted me to be. And the good part about this <clears throat> life for me to be able to see my retirement, because many people don't, mm-hmm. um, many people don't make it to their retirement and to see the fruit of my labor, um, it, 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 it's, it's so fulfilling to the point, Alicia, that I'm like, wow, I had no idea what was on the other side. Wow. I had no idea. It's like doors open. That, it's like, yeah, oh. that all these opportunities, when you mm-hmm. just show up, right, another door opens. Yeah. And then you go through that door and just show up. Yeah. And then another, another one door. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just going through open doors and that's why I keep going out. Yeah. It would never have. I always tell people, nobody has ever come to my door and knocked on my front door and said, Pat, this is success. Right. So you go out and, and go discover out and it, it for yourself. You do. You, as you said that, I just had this <laughs> vision of Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory and when uh, the old one with... With um, 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 Gene, Gene. I'm not sure. Oh, the old movie, not the newer one with Johnny Depp. The old movie when they opened up the doors and all the kids saw all the candy and the flowing river of of (laughs) chocolate, and they were like, "Yeah, (laughs) you know, I'm telling you, that's exactly how it is." You know, (laughs) you retire, you start learning about all these things. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, and, this and, is possible. And, Gene Wilder, right. thank you so and much. And you never even Gene knew, Wilder. I didn't even know all the things that was bu- brewing on the inside of me. But when you get around people, when you have that, and they that start part of the brain and that part opening of Opening it up to Yeah, you. you get around people who have, or uh, just like you basically, or have what you want. Mm-hmm. Then what they do, that, 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 that energy yeah. and that spirit, or I call it, and all of it, it taps into that dope spirit in inside me that's of been you. dormant. Yeah, and it and, and it's it like, just huh? you know? like a firecracker goes yeah. off and wakes you up, and you yeah. say, "I gotta get going, yeah. and I gotta yeah. keep going because yeah. I want that. Yeah. I enjoy that, absolutely." So yeah, so I I completely understand, but I was just you know allowing the viewers <laughs> and the <laughs> listeners to understand what that is. That's yeah. why people call you the Energizer Bunny, and we see you all over the place. So um, again, why did you decide to leave? Not leave, but expand into Atlanta um, to have this next event? Oh, that's a good question. Um, Alicia, what really initially happened with that, what, how that came about was the fact that uh, one of our keynote speakers who is uh, Vaishel Mojaria, he is from England. Okay. After we had the event in October, in October the one that here you spoke at on, Signature Grand, right? right? I spoke at After that one. After we spoke, apparently he saw what we had done or saw the event, some something, and he, in, he, he um he notified me via messenger uh-huh and he says i want you to set a platform for me for about 40 people to do a workshop and Great. that was what got this ball rolling and i said to him okay and then as i thought about it i'm like you know what i host networking events i my goal for me and what i want under, i want the listeners to understand about me i don't host these events for me i host these events to set a platform for right. as many people as we can get out there, whether it's through public speaking, expert panels, whether it's vending, whether it's doing a solo, whether it's do playing music, whether it's what right. I want to expose as many people as I can because everybody has gifts. Right. So that with that, I told him, I said, I'll host an event because that's what I do. And we'll just make it an event rather than just we'll a make workshop. It, yeah, we'll make it a bigger bigger right. grander thing and so we can have as many people there as possible absolutely yeah, because right. we want to be a blessing to a whole lot of people you know 
Um, and it's about making huge connections in a business period. It's about making good quality uh, 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 relationships. Yes. And then where that took what happened there was why we went to Atlanta was because, okay, I was going to do it in Miami, but after having had the event in October, yeah. I'm like, nah, I can't wear, my, I can't wear the people out like that. You don't want to wear you know? the Florida people. You don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to, they used to say, you know, my mom used to tell us, you don't want, don't keep going over their house, you don't want to wear out your wear. <laughs> don't keep fishing, <laughs> don't keep fishing in the same pond. <laughs> so <laughs> that was what took me, I said, I'm going to do it and I'm going to Atlanta. But mind you, I had just spoken that at a mastermind group that I was in in November mm -hmm. with Bill Walsh and the team in Atlanta. And okay. I said one of the 10 things that I wanted to do was host an event in Atlanta. In Atlanta. I had no idea that this would be happening <laughs> yes. this fast. So this quickly. See, sometimes right. you and put something out there and yeah. everything starts aligning for you. Absolutely. And that's exactly it. You know, when you shape your mind into believing or whatever it is that you want, and when you see yourself with it, it's coming. Yeah. But you do have to. Go through the process. It's a you process. You still have to do the work. You it just have to go happen. through the process as, <laughs> as if it already is. All right. And that's real. So tell me, where yeah. is this event in Atlanta? And tell me a little bit more about it because I know there are some folks in Atlanta, in Hotlanta, that watch this show and listen to us in Atlanta. Um, so where is it? When is it? Give us a little more detail. Okay. The event is at the Crown Plaza Airport, Atlanta. That's on Virginia Avenue, mm -hmm. and that's 1325 Virginia Avenue in Atlanta, Georgia. That's right by the airport. So every, most of our speakers are flying in. Uh, we have five keynote speakers, and I think we have about 12 other, uh, sp other, other speakers that I call rising stars. And that so it's two days. It's a two-day event, okay. and it's from 8 o'clock, 8.30. We check in about 8 o'clock, whatever, before 8 to 8.30. We're going to start at 9, and we'll be out at 6.00. And the 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 uh, goal for that, I always do things and I trust the process to the point I have to see some signs to say that, okay, Pat, you're on the right track. Okay. And I always call that my higher power God. <laughs> okay. And so when we went to get the uh, hotel, what happened was they gave me an immaculate price on the hotel and they took me to a room that the person that went before me to check out the place, she hadn't even seen that room. Yeah. And when we that room was taken and he said, I have one more room and he took me downstairs and this whole area is ours. Good. I mean, inside and outside out, and Perfect. nobody walks through. So it was just I was just awesome how it's awesome how when you walk into your destiny and when you walk into it, believing, like you said, With faith. all the right people will appear. And it's something about that favor. Yeah, they the find favor that favor with you, mm -hmm. and that's where that, that 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 unity comes in when we say people moving in the right direction with the same mindset. Mm -hmm. That's where that comes in. Just this past week alone, I've had three. This is the third interview the past two weeks. Three. I weeks. know you're. These you're people, on, I have not met them. Tammy, I gotta call around. Hi, Tammy. To come <laughs> on know, their show yeah, and Tammy interview Marquis, with them. John awesome. Shamrock. Shamar um, who else was it? Carrie Wilson. Oh my God! I had an interview with Lynn D. Yeah. Uh, I haven't even posted that yet. That was a Skype interview a little while back. Oh my God! And you know, this this is what gives me the energy to keep going. This is what moves me because and it's gives those you the signs. confidence and the yes. courage to keep going because yes. it just builds your confidence when other people validate what you're doing and they're ready to not just uh, say "Yay, ready to go, Pat," but they're stepping up and supporting you Absolutely. by showing up. Tammy and inviting is in you California, to places. In, uh, Texas, I believe. Then there was there was a uh, Rob Rob House. He has a show and everything. And these people, I just they saw what I was doing, and he interviewed me the other day, Skype. And not yeah. only that, I'm gonna say this to you. I'm gonna say this in the process of creating yourself and following your vision and 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 walking in your destiny, you grow. You do. I've learned so much. <laughs> I've learned so much from, from, from mastering your chip mail, different things that I had to A do. A lot of skills you start learning or, yeah. your, yourself because yeah. you have to. You have to. Because as I, uh, as a business development strategist, when I start to really coach, when I coach, the more we have in us, the, the more, more value we, can, we give, we can to, give our to others. Clients. Absolutely. So we never stop growing. We never I stop. I never stop learning. We I never, never stop. Ever, ever. 
uh, yeah, researching different tools and techniques. Absolutely. So tell me a couple of the speakers that are, oh, what are the dates? June. Oh, the dates are June the 15th through, through the 16th. Where am I supposed to be looking at to look at Your the people? Your camera's right there. Okay, June, I want to talk to y'all. I really don't want to look at Alicia. I want to look at you <laughs> beautiful people. And I didn't really know which way to look. I didn't know whether to look over there, over here, or at that TV. We have all these oh, cameras up in here. <laughs> but at any rate, the event we are is on June the 15th and the 16th. From 8.30 to 6, we're going to have uh, five keynote speakers. Who are the five speakers? We have Nancy Matthews, of course. She's one of uh, our Women's Prosperity Network, uh, along with her two sisters, Trish and Susan. They have uh, organizations via throughout the chapters throughout the world. We also have Bill Walsh, renowned public speaker as well. We have, uh, we also Eric, have Swanson. Eric Swanson. He'll be speaking. And we also have Paul Fink. Paul Fink will be coming in and he'll be speaking for us. Also, we have, lastly, we have uh, Vaishal from England. So I'm excited. You know why I'm excited? I'm like, back in corporate America, I, would ne I never saw this happening. Mm -hmm. But I realized with all the challenges that I had in corporate America, it was conditioning me <laughs> right. for this journey. That is incredible. You know, you have to have disciplines to deal with people. You have to have disciplines to put all the events together. You yeah. have to have disciplines to make sure that everybody is serviced in every sector of the of, of the arena. Right. And I'm just ex I'm, I'm excited when I think about. It. I'm like, God, back in the day, what if I quit? Yeah. What if I quit my job? You know, look at all I got out of that. You right. Know? So I'm excited, and then we have a uh, uh, two expert panels, one on each day. And each panel has six people on the panel, panel, and we have a moderator for each panel. Okay. So they will ask questions of the panelists, and the panelists will answer the questions. And, of course, most questions that are asked, it helps uh, answer questions that our audience uh, attendees have. Yeah. And we have Chris Salem. Chris was with us last year. You okay. remember Chris? Yes, I do. And then we also have... Uh, well, we. I think I'm going to be the next panelist. I think All I'm right. going to be the uh, second the uh, moderator for yeah. the panel. Yeah, I and you know be. the thing is, these events. Mm -hmm. When you are, whether you're um, thinking about starting a business, you have your own business, or you're you're still working in a job and you're not even sure if you want a business, this is a great absolutely opportunity to come. Mm -hmm. You're going to have amazing vendors. That have, that, that have things to share with everybody. So make sure you walk with money for the vendors, please. Cash. <laughs> walk with money for the vendors. Because, you know, they, yes. they come here. They go to these events to help service you as well. To give you opportunities to see things that you probably won't see or be able to buy anywhere right. else. And so this, this is a great platform to not just network with other people, but also to learn a lot of things that you never would have even... Even know that it existed. Exactly, yes. know that it yes. exists and expand your mind and open yourself up to a world of possibilities for yourself. And awesome. Um, awesome. even my guest last week, she helps women transition from a job or corporate corporate environment to their own business even if they don't want to leave their job but help them create something on the side so that Absolutely. they have something Absolutely. when they do retire they Absolutely. have something right. that is growing and, and working and building and this is the same kind of opportunity pat throws these events so that you can expand your mind and get yes. to know Our what's events, out there yes these events are just like you said they're for those individuals who are not shoot don't have a business and who are interested in getting a business i had a lady email me today uh, via but text me and she says I don't have a business she's from Atlanta because I've been doing a lot of talk yeah. targeting and talking to people and meeting people and calling people and she says I don't have a business and of course I went on my little spiel because I know when she comes to that event it'll open she her mind she is going to want to have, have a, business. a business exactly <laughs> and, and somebody that's speaking from those, from a, uh, those um. stages the vendors they're going to be the excitement they're going to have some, that she's going to be stirred and she might find an opportunity there all of us There'll be an opportunity That's just there. That's waiting to be blossomed uh, so we can take our life and our uh, selves in our de to, ne to the next level, really. Um, we're also going to have a full buffet. So Food! We, we You're going to get yeah. fed! Yeah, matter <laughs> of fact, it's all you can eat. Uh, they're going to have that set up as well. We have a DJ. Our DJ is from Atlanta. He reached out to me um, in back in January or February. That's and great. And his name is uh, Jason Buford. 
And in case he's listening, then then we also have our photographer. Her name is Betty Wells. She reached out to me. She's from Atlanta. Hi, hi, Patty, 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 Patty Wells. Patty Wells. And Great. Lavinia, Lavinia is running things. She just she's, she's a vendor. She was one of the first vendors that signed up. Uh, from Atlanta. She is the first one. She don't know she'll be getting a prize. Oh, and yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could come speak, but I, I wasn't able to come to this one. Yeah. Um, but, you know, any more you have, you know, well, I, I'll be, be able to. Yeah, I'll be, yeah, I'll be, I'll be available be for the next one. So, um, really quickly, what are the ticket prices and how can people get tickets? Because we are coming close to time. So, let me know. Okay, the ticket price is only $155. That's for all attendees. All and that's for the two days. That's for a two-day event. Food uh, is included. And, of course, we have a plethora of speakers. And I'm sure you'll see all of the information on site. Yeah. But I want to send them to my website. Okay. And if they want to go there and see it rather than search the, the, the Facebook, um, that you can go to Unity, U-N-I-T-Y, I-N, service, Unity in service dot net, And that will take you. It's a big button right there to take you right there into the full event uh, page and you can register right there as well and I would like to ask if you leave a comment at the bottom because all of those comments are going on our website when the event is, o is over okay and while you're on the page go ahead and pick up your little free copy of my ebook there you go okay uh, it's a free gift yes free gift. you get a free gift. Gift. gift no there yeah. you go yeah, yeah, yeah. and not only that you're getting look at that for 155 you said you're getting uh, fed in your body, you're getting fed in your mind, you're getting fed in your spirit, you're getting fed everywhere. Absolutely. So, you know, for two I'll, days. Absolutely. You leave absolutely. there, you know. And the relationships that they make. I just came from Arizona because I had Eric Swanson on our stage. Me, Nancy, and they, you remember uh, Gladys Diaz. We were all yes, in Arizona. Gladys. And this My is how Gladys. it works. Sometimes people think that they're not getting anything out of it. What's in it for me? But you have to go out and you have to connect with people and you have to say hi and you have to let them see and make that connection because everybody, you know, is going to connect with somebody. Right. And then you never know what doors are going to open. But if we sit and we want to see before and it we happens, sit and wait and it see. don't work like that. Yeah. You know, you uh, have to step human out. Nature, it says human nature says what they say. Say we have to we'll believe it when we see it. Yes. But faith says. Yes. Believe I'll it first. See, believe it when I. I'll, what is it? No. I'll believe it. We say I'll believe, I'll it. believe it when I see it. But yeah. faith says believe it first, and then you'll Absolutely. see it. So, Absolutely. So yes. Yeah. So it's so. it's so um, important what you said because, you know, you have this. Um, circle of speakers that you run around with, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because you ma you stepped out and you made that connection and you said with Bill Walsh and you said, listen, if I'm going to invest my money with yeah, you and your yeah, program, yeah. you have to take me by the hand and show me yeah, what to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm yeah, I'm not gonna be sitting back and you yeah. talking to me and and I'm just waiting for stuff to happen. No, no, he's you gotta you gotta that. drag me along. Yeah, anyway, I am that. running out of time, and, and he is Nancy really good. Matthews and Nancy and that. everybody, Nancy is really great. Instinct. Yeah, everybody's so. good, and you are excellent. Thank you, you so much. Excellent I, excellent. Much. You I appreciate it. Always me this space, and I love you for that. Thank Alicia. you, Pat. So go to her website, unityinservice.net, right? And I will have that up on my page as well acradio.live um, thank you so much for watching thank you for joining me on Facebook everybody I so appreciate it mwah, 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 bye. Mwah. and I'll see you guys next week okay talk okay, to you soon bye, bye bye thank you all for joining <laughs>